So I'm changing out the sink drain from this to this pop-up style. The problem we have is water, as you can see, is pulling because the lip's thicker on the bottom flange and it's not allowing water to come out. So I'm going to try a different model that a bottom line. This came with a jacuzzi spigot. If you can look and see, the lip on this one's a little bit thinner than that one, which is what I'm looking for. However, it's a little bit tall, a little bit wider too. It's laying on the ground, it sticks up just a hair higher than this one. Well, I didn't film it, but I put this drain in, and because of the higher or the wider diameter on the flange that it made a problem worse. So now what do I do? Well, my idea, since this is cheap plastic, I'm going to take a little rotary tool and I'm going to file down the edge. One idea is to file down the whole thing all around symmetrically, but that's probably beyond my skill set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a side and just go down a little bit and make a little drain point. And to hide it, I may just spin it around and put it on the back side of the sink so it's not seen. I'm gonna give that a shot, so like I said, since this is pretty chintzy, and go, uh, probably go top side because the bottom would probably interfere with sealing with the gasket, although this is like the cheapest gasket I've ever seen. I mean, this is pathetic. But it was working, it was sealing, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to mess with the bottom. I'm going to work on the top side, and uh, that way it preserves the seal. And the top side does not have anything to do with seal when the sink's closed. So that's my plan. little trough and I'm going to try to put face that sucker to the rear I could turn it around if, if there's a low spot you know if it's off centered the low spot might be here and that wouldn't be in the world but I'd rather have it back there that's why it's you're not really looking at it well I got everything hooked up underneath and now it's time to test it out to see how well it drains and water in. Okay, that did not work as good as I wanted it to. So, if I can see the water here. I'm gonna have to, my little groove has to go all the way in. Well, the good is I'm getting pretty quick at taking this in and out. So I'm gonna have to go in all the way in a little, a little bit further to get the drain. I don't wanna mess the seal up when it's in but as you can see it maybe you can see here the rubber gasket seals on the inner side of the, the pipe not up top but down on the inside so it looks like it's recessed a little bit so well, there's some freedom there to to move it and this just slides right out i can dig in here a little bit a little further in and maybe I can taper it down some so it's a little more streamlined. As you can see that the channel is a little bit goes all the way across and it's pretty uniform. So hopefully that will do it. Let's see. I'm gonna try it right here without all the other stuff. See what it looks like. I do have a bucket down there. <laughs> I highly recommend a bucket. Man, this is terrible. All right, front. All 
Well, it moves it around a little bit. Apparently, the low point, my sink, is over here. I still have... Yeah. Eh, this angle's not good. I still have a little bit of uh, water yeah. pooling. And I think the high point is on the inside here, so I will cut this down a little bit more because I want this fixed. Okay, round three. It's, it goes all the way to the edge. It looks pretty decent. That's definitely, definitely the low point. And it does a little slow draining when it gets down to this stage, but I don't have a bunch of water standing, so. Yeah, this looks like it will work. Or good enough for government work, as they say. So the finished product is a decent looking sink, a much improved looking sink. And the drain itself, it drains pretty well. The notch is in the back, right here. And I don't have water ponding on this one over here. It's to the side a little bit, but you just don't, you just don't notice it. But the, with the stopper sitting in the way. So I'm happy it was a cheap fix. It was a free fix. I didn't have to buy anything else and that's always a good thing.